Hey everybody, in this video I am sharing a tidy up, clean up and general reorganisation of my studio. I have just finished editing it and I realised I didn't actually have an intro, it just kind of jumped in straight away so I thought I would do some sort of intro. If you are new to my channel or not around, I, um, I use this studio for my Etsy shop and other work which you don't need to know about but I make journals in here, I make stickers in here, I pack orders in here and all that sort of thing and I'm really lucky to have both a studio and a craft room next door and if you haven't seen it I do have another video cleaning and tidying and reorganising my craft room as well which I will link if you're interested but yes let's jump into the studio cleanup. Okay, ready? This is the situation we are dealing with right now. Even as you walk in this cart is I mean, what is going on here? There's loads of stuff underneath and <sighs> radiator can probably go because it's April starting to warm up, although it's still pretty cold, I'm not going to lie. Pile of new books for the shop. Desk is a mess. Other desk is a total disaster. That's not too bad. Shelves on there, bit of a disaster. Under the desk, disaster. And just bags of things I need to sort out. Yes, I know I need to vacuum, but that is not a priority right now. Folders of things, you know, business boring stuff. Shelves, shelves, shelves. Ugh. This is all just not very good. Boxes, shipping boxes. Who even knows what's going on there? I don't know. Pile of stuff on the table. Pile of boxes up there. Pile of stuff there. All sorts going on down there. Christmas wrapping paper, for goodness sake, Grace. Stuff I need to sort out. Disaster, disaster. Not too bad on here. That is something I will talk about in a second. And more bags. That's a bin currently. More bags. Yes, that's, that's this is what we're working with, basically. I think what I'm going to do first. So this is a really cheap, you know, like, cardboard shelf thing like paper storage so I think I'm going to build that first and that's going to go up on here so I have that there like ready to go I think that's the best thing to start off with and then we'll just go from there really see what happens I have various plans like the stuff that big plastic box there is actually full of things like cards that I've made that my family can just take from if they want to I'm going to put that next door and then put all that tissue paper underneath for packing purposes that could do with a general tidy up i don't know if i'm ready to sort out all of that under there yet not not quite emotionally ready for that um what else most of these bags down here are all fabric material so i need to sort out storage for that because who knows what's going on there various papers ribbons all of the things basically everything needs sorting out really that that's all there is to it so i am just gonna prop the tripod up stump somewhere and you can Watch me on the struggle bus. All right, let's get going. So here's the sitch with this. There's supposed to be like things that go across here which are missing and they kind of stop these bits from sinking down in the middle. Now I bought this from Amazon Warehouse, you know, like the stuff that gets sent back and you get it cheaper all the way back in December. So there's no way they're going to take it back now. So I just had to get a bit crafty. I've put chipboard 
as you can see at the top at the bottom glue gun glue gun glue gunned it in place add a little bit of washi at the front it's not very attractive but you know what it works and i got it for a steal so there we go being crafty has its uses all right carrying on So I've been sorting out my stamps. I have literal thousands and thousands of stamps that go in the junk journal kits. I have see two big bags there and then this bag I've been going through. I've sorted them so far into like these are sort of pretty UK stamps generally and then like big clusters like this. These are all Oh, that shouldn't be in there. That should be in there. Oh, I've messed up. Oh no. Let's try again. So pretty ones and like big pieces like that in there these all queen's head and then these are all either international or they are uk but like really really old like i've got some king edward and stuff in here and obviously this is just barely touching the sides as it were so what i'm going to do is keep these three boxes that will keep me going for a good good while for packing kits and then I'm just going to put the rest of the stamps loose in there because these bags have been annoying me for so so long and I just want to get rid of them so I don't know if I'm going to fit them all in here but we'll see.
lovely stamp drawer batman that is many many stamps that's that deep so what about six inches deep of stamps almost completely full i'm trying to make sure none of them like fall round the back you know what i mean and go and end up on the floor um i found some cool things as well while i was going through them i found this which is super cute i know it says 71 but it's that little stamp i don't even know what that is and then this made me laugh a john player voucher sorry about the state of the floor there's no point in vacuuming it before i'm done tidying in here a John Player voucher advised by Her Majesty's Government. If you do smoke cigarettes, leave a long stub, remove from mouth between puffs, inhale less, take fewer puffs. So that used to be the government advice regarding cigarettes. How funny is that? So I'm keeping hold of that because that's just brilliant. So stamps sorted. I'm going to have a cup of tea now because that took fucking forever. Okay, it is the next day. I've been to B&M Bargains today and I bought these cute little storage boxes. Can never resist a cute storage box in B&M Bargains. And I think I'm going to transfer the stamps I organised yesterday into these boxes and then I can keep them over where I keep the stamps at the moment. And I think that will be better because these, you know, the boxes are fine, but they're a bit bulky and I haven't got as much storage room in here as I would like. So I think it would be better to have them in these slimmer ones that can go on top of each other because that one fits in there as well and I think that will do nicely.
is Thursday, 13th of May. I um, have just finished editing a vlog and that's like rendering and stuff now and I'm gonna continue with my studio cleanup. I just mentioned in the last vlog about how the studio cleanup is happening while other things are happening. So it's not like I'm like four days of straight of me just doing this. It's in between all the other things I have to do because I can't take that amount of time off. Um, so yes, today I am going to tackle, let me turn you around. This is the bit I've been dreading, which is, oh, hello, Coke can. Um, I need to put this away because I don't need it anymore because the weather has finally warmed up. But this cart here, this is like a broken Hobbycraft cart. The wheels kind of didn't work anymore. They were bending outwards. So I'm just using it as a shelf unit. But every time I like have to bring something into this room, like I walk in, I just dump it in this top part and there is so much in there to sort out there's a few things to sort out in there all there is down there is the old silhouette portrait um as i said i need to put this away i don't think i can manage taking it back up to the attic because it's heavy and i am a weakling um and then the desk area needs a general tidy up i want to do something else with these little shelves here and then this desk also could do with some work so that is today's job feeling a little bit tired today but i'm going to try and power through and just stick to that job that i've said rather than try and do more um i've also ordered some more shelves um i have little ikea bereria however you say it you know just those little like cupboard shelves for my packing table making journals table making up whatever table you want to call it so i'm going to wait to do that until those have arrived they weren't on prime um they were like you know normal delivery so they'll take about a week or so um oh just looking at that pile is stressing me out i so anyway what i'll keep just tailing off you can tell i'm like ooh, not completely with it i'm gonna wrap on some music instead of a podcast because that'll like perk me up a bit more than a podcast i think even though it's thursday and my favorite murder will be out, but I'll save it for later. I'm gonna put on some Rammstein because that always perks me up, even wearing a Rammstein tee today. And yeah, get on with it. Stop rambling, Grace, and just do the thing. <sighs> It's the, what is the date? 17th of May today? I think I've been back to B&M Bargains today and I couldn't resist getting a few more little storage boxes and trays. Plus, as I said, I've got more shelves coming and I need more storage trays for my shelves. Obviously, it's not that I'm addicted to buying them or anything like that. Absolutely not. Um, I haven't really tidied my desks, plural, as you can see. Um... But I do want to do something else first. Sorry if that was a bit too spinny. Um, I brought in this big basket here, which is all tissue paper. Just tons and tons of tissue paper, which I bought ages ago for crafting purposes. And I so rarely use it, so I thought I'd repurpose it. Yes, the floor is a state. I am aware of that. 
um thought i'd repurpose it for shop packaging because i'm not going to use it for anything else so i want but i wanted to have it like not all folded up like it is there otherwise i'm just not going to use it because it's going to be too much of a hassle so i kind of want to cut it into the sizes up that i will use it for packing and lay them out so i was thinking i need to get rid of that box there just out of my way in general i might put this is all pre-made cards and stuff down here um so i might put those in that box and use that box for the tissue paper so it's just ready to use oh about the silhouette by the way you saw me packing up my old silhouette i put it on a freebie uh, facebook group you know just a local uh, freebies thing and it was snapped up immediately so that went that sorted i know some of you are just probably thinking why don't you sell it and it's just i'm not i'm not that you know it wasn't working that well i would rather just give it away than sell it for 20 quid or so do you know what i mean just like if someone can make use of it and then i also don't have the hassle if it's not working if something goes wrong then it's not my problem <laughs> but if i sold it it would be my problem do you know anyway so that's what i'm going to do first sort out the tissue paper and all those bits the cards i'll probably put next door and then do my desks after that i don't think i'm going to tackle this area in this video either because it's hidden and nobody knows and they're just I, I can't i don't want to anyway yes tissue paper sorting out commencing now
Alright then, I am finished, as finished as I can be for now at least. I'm just going to give you an overview because I will do a separate studio tour at some point. I also haven't vacuumed because I just haven't got around to it yet and I need to get this video up in a day or so. So I just wanted to, yeah, as I said, give you an overview. See my desks are a lot tidier. I managed to empty that sort of magazine rack looking thing usually has I shove all my important papers in there and then forget about them. So I've gone through them and filed them and it's empty at the moment. Keep all my inks there. My desk is nice and tidy. My shelves are cleaned and dusted. This little rascog without wheels is almost empty. So always good to have room to expand. And then if we turn around, slowly my shelves are in a much better state than they were i do need to find a better home for these kitchen roll tubes i use those for curved spine journals i have some empty trays and stuff again always good to have room to expand that big sack there is full of rubbish and there are a couple of bags there i still need to go through so not completely finished as i said uh over here pretty much i didn't really do anything there top of this little unit is much better. My papers are more organized and then my main sort of workstation is just so much clearer with more space with the extra shelves to keep all my bits and pieces for making and packing orders. So, oh, that camera footage is a little shaky. Sorry about that. But as I said, I just wanted to just finish this video off showing you an overview of everything that I have done in here and it's just, it looks so much better and it will look even better when I get around to vacuuming as well. But I am nearly 60 stairs up and hoiking the vacuum up here is an effort. So I need to be feeling really well to be able to do that. But that'll be it for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you have any questions or anything about what anything is, what I do with certain items, anything at all, do let me know down in the comments and as I said I will do a studio tour as soon as I can but I did promise to do the craft room tour first so I will do that and a studio tour in separate videos hopefully in the next month but I'm not making any promises 
But anyway, that is going to be it from me. Thank you so much again. I am going.